She's just a baby She's just a toddler You can't expect them To pay the bill He's just a baby She's just a toddler There's many roles They cannot be He's just a baby She's just a toddler They will not cook They will not feed He's just a baby She's just a toddler He will not mow the lawn She will not mow the lawn going on since the last time we talked. <laughs> okay. My household's gotten out of hand. It's gotten out of control. I was hoping that when he came, I would have an ally, a confidant, someone that I could seize control with. Someone who would take the best in me and implement it on an infant toddler level. Ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of ballers and the place is jumping, jumping. Your sister, I used to hold her just like this. I see the same defiance growing in you. I see it in your eyes. Look into your own eyes. Can you not see it? But instead, I get someone who's more defiant. Someone who wants to make his own rules even more than, than Angel does. Someone who, who doesn't have any basic respect for what I am trying to implement in this household, and we can't, we can't continue like this. It's, it's, it's infeasible, it's impossible, we can't. I need you to seriously think about your behavior. The way you've been behaving is unacceptable. There's no rhyme or reason to it. This is what I'm talking about, the lack of focus. Carrying the two of them around, I've, I've had to go to a specialist. My, my back. It's not even, I can't even. Was that outburst for me? Was it for my benefit? You're always trying to trouble something. Instead of troubling something, you need to be thinking about the future. Hey, that's what you want. This device. This empty jar. This is very symbolic. The things that are important to us. The things that, that motivate us. I hope you remember this moment. Because I certainly will. And jail has, has been in jail. Going to play. I try to appease her. I mean, I really am her best friend. Do you see this? Hi. Do you see this? I see this. You know what this is? Pay attention. You know what this is? I bought this for myself at a pawn shop. Enough of your games! You see this? <laughs> it's the anonymity award. It's for men who go unrecognized for all of the wonderful deeds they do. It cost me $30. Do you not care? Yeah, I carry. Okay, you carry. I said, do you not care? I don't want to carry now. All right, fine, carry it. Then the parrot. What are you talking about? This is about daddy's anonymity. Parrot day. I, I would think. I mean, isn't every daddy his girl's best friend? I'm going to go look at Angel Pitch. Jeez. You would take a picture with Daddy's award. They don't look. How dare you? I, I, I play games with her. I... Silver Surfer, is this your skateboard? No. 
Oh, what is it? I want to count. There's no time to count. Where did the skateboard come from? I have for you. I want the skateboard out of my sight. Here, take it. It's yours. Thank you. I don't want to see it here ever again. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I don't like the skateboard. I can ride it. When, when daddy needs, when it's time for daddy, the, the dice are rolling and it comes off snake eyes. Snake eyes. Which one of you is going to take care of this? Thank you. Are you going to take care of it? No promise. It needs to be paid, not toyed with. This is enough. The little boy. What to do with the little boy? What do you think that book is? You think that's obedience? Look at it. He's just like her. He's a smaller and more, sometimes more demanding version. <laughs> I try to teach them. Dealing with the two of them together is impossible. This is what the two of you have to do with yourselves. No sign of the accounting book. No educational materials at all. The two of you in a pile of toys. Dealing with the two of them apart is impossible. It's about time you let this all out and have a confrontation with yourself. This can only be resolved with him. You understand? Who are you talking to? Hmm? Do you understand we can't sustain it like this? Do you understand that? Are you not hearing me? We can't continue like this. We can't. We can't continue like this. Do you somehow want to launch this into a percussive career? Your priorities. There are Your priority is a skill. Okay, a We're not going to make it. Are you hearing me? Is any of this getting through to you? You only care about the dances. Well, we're dancing our way into poverty. This is the golden fleece we sought. This is the silver chariot that the pot at the end of a proverbial rainbow. What can you do with this? This is all we aspire to. Backyard percussions with household items. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. While you're singing these songs of celebration, Daddy is singing our dirge. Have you even considered some sort of gainful part time beef racing? There are lawns that could be mowed in the neighborhood. Many things that could offset some of these costs. Have you talked to Elias? He's not going to do it. He's not going to do anything. He refuses. Are you hearing me? Listen to me. We have very serious matters facing this household. You don't care. They have no concern to you. I try to get time to myself. I try to get away and do what I love doing.
but even that, it ends in disaster. Do you understand that I have your best interest in mind? There are many things, many pitfalls that your sister had fallen into that I hoped you would avoid. But it seems that we are repeating the same vicious patterns. Do you not ever think about your existence? While you're playing your canes, do you see this physique? Do you see this? Hmm? Is this something you're proud of? This is something you, you, you feel accomplished? Do you see these rolls? These rolls of fat, do you see them? Do you know what that is wrought of, Loli? A life of ease. A life of very little activity. A life where you have given in, Tholi. It's true, you've given in. You know you've given in. Tholi, I need you to help me with something. We have a choice we can make. I want you to use this. You understand? You know what this is? This will help you. Hold it up. Hold it up. You need to hold it up. You need to work with these. You understand? You know how to do reps? Here. These are reps. We need to lift. Lift. We need to lift. We need to lift. Don't get frustrated. Lift. We need to lift. Can we lift? No, we do not eat. We need to lift. We need to lift. Can we lift? That's right, lift. Alright, I'm going to leave you down here for a little while. And I expect you to work with these. Alright? Alright. How many reps have you done? What is it? What are you? What is this? This is what you would do. This is how you presume to get in shape. You think this is productive? Totally no. No. I won't let you do this to yourself. I won't let you do this to me. I won't. I can't. I, what are you doing? There will be no more pie. No more cakes. No more extravaganzas. Not. And we need to exchange that spoon for this. You have to want it. I can't make you want it. You have to want it for yourself. One, two, three, four, five. That's how we do a rep. Six. Come on, do it with me. I'm not going to do the work for you. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You have to want it. Sixteen, seventeen. Put your muscle in it. Eighteen. Put your back into it. Nineteen, twenty. We have a choice to make. The spoon or the weight? Think carefully before you make this choice. What is our existence going to be based upon? No, this is on you. This is on you. How could you? How could you? This is exactly what I'm talking about. While the immortal Nina Simone once chimed, it's a new day, it's a new time, it's a new time for living. For me. I'm waiting for the ethos of that song to franchise in my life. What this is about is resources. You see here we have the circle of resources. This represents our family. And here, hold on, hold on. We have one, two, three, four. All right. All right. All right. These are our resources. One, two, Neil. three. Four. Mommy. Two, three, and this pie right here. Four. This used to be a part of Daddy's resources. But now. One, two, three, four, five. There's not enough to go around. That's my point. Do you understand? What, what are you doing? You're missing the purpose of this diagram. The thing is, there's only so many resources. Resources come in, 
resources go out. We have limited resources and there's none of oh, no. What are you doing? I've been reading some, some literature lately on how to deal with situations such as this. You need to have a serious conversation with the two of you. One author, he put it best, when his house was overrunning with the children, he lived in New Delhi, he simply had them choose. He had them choose who was going to go away for six, seven months, uh, learn a trade, do some farming, something to, to come back and contribute to the household. Just, just for a little while, for a few months, someone is going to have to leave so that we're able to, to keep this utopia you see before. Me. Only for six months. I'm going to leave it to the two of you to decide who is going to leave for six months. Do you know what a typical work day for me is like? Do you know? Do you know while the two of them are playing and frolicking and, and eating and, and swilling of life's grandiose ecstasies? Do you, do you know what I'm doing every day out there? Thank you. 